breaking news from Vegas. His emails just leaked and proves it. Bullets and bodies were flying in Vegas the night of the worst American mass shooting. Blood everywhere. A hotel room with a dead shooter. Two broken windows. An armory's worth of weapons. A Saudi crown prince upstairs. A girlfriend who flew the coup. Nothing adds up to give anyone answers about that horrible shooting in Las Vegas that pinned Stephen Paddock as the lone wolf shooter responsible for hundreds of deaths and injuries. A mass shooting so bad that one must wonder how one person was able to take out so many unsuspecting concert goers. It makes you wonder if there was more than one shooter. What about that security guard who went missing? What about the rumors that people shot at a tower hoping for an explosion? Was Stephen Paddock the shooter at all? Was his girlfriend Mary Lou Danley involved? Was she running around outside warning people about something? New evidence leaks from Vegas that has possible crucial information that might lead to more answers the public so desperately seeks. Authorities identified her fingerprints on the ammunition, and her casino card was in the hotel room. That leads people to wonder about her involvement in the crime. Was she ever in that dreaded hotel room? Was the ammo handled at another location? Did Paddock bring her card to throw her under the bus? What part did Danley play in the atrocious shooting? Or was she a patsy? Was Paddock a patsy? Some investigators crawled through Danley's social media and email accounts. Stephen Paddock reportedly had access to at least one of the accounts in question. More information comes out and maybe one day we can piece this horrible puzzle together. LA Times reports. Mary Lou Danley may not have been present when Paddock unleashed a furious barrage of bullets down on a crowd of 20,000 at a Las Vegas country music festival, killing 58 people and wounding more than 500 others, but her links to his life seem to be everywhere. The facts about Danley were among the details revealed when a U.S. District Court judge in Las Vegas unsealed more than 300 pages of search warrants and affidavits at the request of several media outlets, including the Los Angeles Times. The request was unopposed by prosecutors. But why the 64-year-old Paddock shot up the Route 91 Harvest Festival on October 1 remains a mystery, and the search warrants, despite revealing his large cache of weaponry raise more questions than answers about his actions and motive. Paddock came to Las Vegas with an arsenal, more than 20 firearms and hundreds of rounds of ammunition and spent casings were found in his room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. Other search warrants revealed more than 1,000 rounds and 100 pounds of explosive material in his car. Authorities also recovered 18 firearms and more than 1,000 rounds at Paddock's house in Mesquite, Nevada. A large quantity of firearms was recovered from another residence he had in Reno. The search warrants also covered electronic accounts and social media accounts of Paddock and Danley. They revealed an exchange about a money wire transfer. Danley returned from a trip to the Philippines days after the shooting, but wasn't arrested when she arrived in the United States. According to an affidavit, Danley was identified early on as the most likely person who aided or abetted Stephen Paddock based on her informing law enforcement that her fingerprints would likely be found on the ammunition used during the attack. In the court documents, she told investigators she occasionally participated in the loading of the magazines. Danley loaded magazines on weapons that may have been responsible for a mass amount of bloodshed. Authorities have not arrested her yet but Danley is a person of interest. My theory is that the authorities are keeping a watchful eye on her to see what she does, who she talks to, and if any of her activity leads people to a much more significant arrest. What was Paddock doing with all those guns in one location? He can't possibly shoot them all at once, nor would he survive a gunfight with police long enough to use all the ammunition. What were the weapons really for? What was Paddock's real story? Was he a gun runner on a deal that went bad? Was he shot before the shooting started? What happened during that concert in Vegas that set the stage for the horrible shooting? Horrible shooting.